Congratulations to Pam Arp, the winner of our tickets, and I think you'll have a good time. Pam, congratulations. Thank you for watching. Now I want to introduce Glenda Parks and Sandy Reese. They are lactation consultants with Erlanger Medical Center. We're going to talk about breastfeeding today. Uh, it, it's, uh, this is National Breastfeeding it's, Week. It's actually World Breastfeeding World. Week, but yeah. it's celebrated the whole month. So It's important. Why? Why? Uh, well, number one, it's free. Number two, babies aren't sick as much. Mothers burn more calories. They get their pre-pregnancy weight back sooner. Mm -hmm. They are decreases osteoporosis in some women. Um, it decreases obesity later in life. Decreases uh, type two diabetes. It decreases um, ear infections. It decreases Crohn's disease. There's a lot, and that's just a few. That's not even everything goodness, goodness. plus it's free <laughs> <laughs> that's even more important yeah you were telling us what you can save up to uh, three hundred dollars or more or three thousand dollars a year yeah, so 3, you know if uh, and that's a year so yeah about three hundred a month or so and if there's uh if you have to get specialized formula yeah. it costs even more yeah you know, so. and, and what about that because i guess not all children can breastfeed can they or babies well, well most babies can breastfeed, especially if they're put to the breast early after okay. delivery. Okay. They learn that skill from, they were, babies are born to breastfeed, but if they're introduced to bottle quite often early on, it's two different sucks between yeah. the breast and the yeah. bottle. And so babies sometimes get confused. The example I use all the time with my mothers is, you don't learn how to do something the first time. And if somebody's trying to teach you how to do the same job, Two different ways. Don't you get frustrated? And why should we expect babies that have no life experience be able to take the breast, the bottle, and the pacifier and never get frustrated? Yeah. So let them learn how to breastfeed well first, then introduce the pacifier, then introduce the bottle. Not trying to expect them to be all things to all people at all times. What's happened over the last 20 or 30 years? Because it was almost looked at like a hippie thing back in the, you know, a few years yeah, back. When or, I had my babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, it was even shunned by a lot of people, you know, but now it, it's changed over the years, particularly well, the last five years or so. Part of that is the government has really been pushing it. CDC and the government, they, when they started looking at what are some of these illnesses and why, you know, what can we do to decrease it? And when they started taking surveys and they found that a lot of these things could be decreased with breastfeeding. Yeah, yeah. I guess the question is not so much as to, uh, you know, as to why should I breastfeed? It's, it's the opposite, isn't it? Right, I mean, it's just, uh, there's so many benefits you can't even explain them all here, but along with all the health benefits, it's also yeah. um, a mothering, nurturing thing. You hear that as well, and, and um, a bonding process that, um, when you put the baby to breast, it's just something that empowers the woman too. To yeah. um, and, and the way things have changed nowadays, uh, online uh, and everything else, you, there's a ton of information available that may have been hearsay a few years ago. Right. Well, uh, an example is we used to get things off of magazines yeah. and uh, books and that kind of stuff. Now this, the government has this that I hand out in my breastfeeding classes, but mothers can also go online and get the exact same information. Just go to www.womenshealth.gov mm -hmm. slash breastfeeding and you can print out this whole book or you can just view it online. You don't even have to print it out. <laughs> There's apps for smartphones that help you keep track of how many poops and peas the baby's had. Or how they can many call you. Yeah, they That's can right. call us. They, they email me, you know. Yeah. They do all those kind of things. Speaking of email, uh, Erlanger.org is the website and for information, and the phone number is 778-LINK, 423-778-LINK. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate Thank it. Good information. Now we join Mr. Food in the Kitchen. It's time for a little bit of skillet eggplant parmigiana. If ever there was a...